Alright, so this is my first, uh, I guess like commentary gameplay. Basically, what you guys are about to see is Lord of the Rings War in the North. It's the Karn Doom Captain boss battle. Uh, pretty straightforward. Just, uh, he's a mage. We got some pretty good physical combat as well. Yeah, here it is, enjoy. Split screen playing with my little brother. I'm the account on the left, he's the account on the right. Or in other words, I'm playing as the ranger and he's playing as the elf mage. And it's like most of the boss battles in this game aren't really that hard. It's more so the fact that you just have so many enemies fighting you at the same time. It's not that the bosses are really difficult. Because, I mean, you'll see here that I don't have too too difficult of a time fighting him. It's more, I have more trouble keeping my, uh, my partner alive than anything else, but, yeah, it's... It's not a difficult boss, so it's very straightforward. You don't have to do anything too fancy. Like, this game, for anyone who's played it, or if you haven't played it, I guess, this is, is a very, very much an old school dungeon crawler type game. Just set in the Lord of the Rings world. It's like, if you, if you liked Baldur's Gate, and if you liked, uh, what's, uh, Champions of Norath on the PlayStation 2, you, you will like this game. It's, not the most polished and it's got graphical glitches that happen and the characters and expressions are pretty blank and I mean it's it's not the most beautiful game in the world. But it's it's fun to play if you just want, you know, something simple, hack and slash type gameplay. There's the guy's super annoying. He, all he does is pretty much throughout the entire battle is teleport behind you and try to attack you. And with the the bad thing about the split screen is that it takes off so much of your of what you see that when you have an enemy that is like teleporting behind you, it makes it difficult to keep track of where he actually is. And it's not too hard, but it's just kind of annoying, I guess. We have I think at this point he's almost halfway half of his life is done. And those dudes right there, the guys with the twin swords, probably the most annoying regular enemy in the entire game. Forget the trolls, forget the Urukais or whatever they're called. Those those guys are irritating because they actually will dodge your attacks and move behind you. And constant, and make you just make it so you have to constantly be trying to avoid them. And this guy. Constantly charging. And there goes my partner going down it again. And that was, I think that was a, that was my little brother saying, you know, I'm, it's not that big of a deal. I wasn't playing online or anything like that, but. I have played the game online though. I mean, it's for sure. For it's if you're gonna play this game with someone else, it's. I mean, it's fun to play with someone sitting next to you, but just to ha have the full screen when you're playing with other people online is uh, pretty beneficial. And also, and there I go. I go down for the first time. But um, it's it's pretty helpful to have a full team of people instead of just two when you have all three of the party members because the, through this playthrough and split screen the dwarf has been almost useless there's a few cases where he actually does something but he doesn't do very much for the most part and in this playthrough I'm not really trying to you know I'm not trophy hunting or anything like that, which I don't do too much to begin with, but 
Um, all I'm doing here is basically, I'm just playing through the game. I'm not trying to find every secret passage or, you know, all those things. I'm just playing the game. I'm fun. Battle is almost over, I believe. Yeah. I think I can move them off in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, I mean, I did, the I, there's other bosses that are pretty similar to this dude. There's one other boss, and I'm not gonna be surprised if when I fight Agendower, which I I'll have that recorded as well. I'll have gameplay of that, and um, if he fights similar, and there I finish him off with a headshot. Yeah, that's the Corn Doom Captain. I also have, I also did gameplay of, um, I forget the boss's name, it's not coming to my head right now, the Spider Queen boss, so I'm probably going to upload that, but probably without commentary, just because it's going to upload it, but um, yeah, so basically that is, that is the Karn Doom Captain boss battle, I mean, you, watching this, you get a good idea of what this game is really about, so, with that, I'm done.